Composite Gloves here, and today we are introducing the new DSP Basic series. I'm redoing the old one, and this one we're going to be covering DSP making audio plugins. So this isn't like going to be focused on any other kinds of DSP. Like it's been used for radar, sonar, a whole bunch of other cool stuff. Uh, what's another one? Like visual effects use DSP because it's digital audio, digital signal processing. So anything that's a digital signal that can be processed will be covered in DSP. So it's a super broad field. So we're interested in audio programs. Uh, please have some math knowledge. The more math you know, the better you'll be. Ideally, you'll be in the calculus domain. But if you know way less math, maybe you don't know like hardly any math. Maybe you can't even remember how to do long division. You know, help you. So we'll see how that goes. But the more math you know, the better. I will be simplifying things down as far as I can, but I'm also not going to spare things I think I should say. So there will be math involved at some spots, but I'll try and come up with analogies and ways to help people who don't know as much. Cause I was there, I was trying to figure it out and the math like helped me so much. But at the time I, I could comprehend these ideas. And there's a lot of things that could have been said to me that weren't said because math people don't think to say them because they know the math. So that's uh, that's something I'm going to be seeking to do. Uh, the reason for this is I've seen a lot of videos on like what a course is. I've made videos on how a course is, what a course is and how it works. But if you really want to get it, you're going to make one. And when you make one, you can grab any sort of course and sort of understand the nuances of the device right away. You can see the controls and immediately know what's going to happen. Or you could at least make some pretty good educated guesses on how things are working behind the scenes, as well as being extraordinarily more precise in sound design. Sound design won't be as big a mystery. So that's sort of the goal. Uh, besides the math, there is the programming side. So I'm going to be using Reactor 6. You could be using Flowstone. I'm not using it because it's 32-bit. So that's kind of lame currently. Maybe it'll get upgraded one day. And Max for Live is awesome. I don't own that. But if one day if I own it, I'll probably use it because it has some advantages like can render out VSTs, which is pretty cool. There's several Mac-based uh, programs that allow you to do things similar to Reactor, but you want some sort of a tool that allows you to drag and drop in modules like sign functions, delay taps, um, you know, math functions, besides sign functions, like your basic oscillators. You want something that allows you to connect them up so that you can practice DSP algorithms. So this is like a basic chorus, and it I also am making, I'm working on ensembles in Reactor, so if you have Reactor, it's a bonus for you, that actually explain why things work and how they work, and it takes you fr um, from no modules to the completed ensemble, which is pretty rad. This part, though, is not included in this ensemble, but that's what we're going to be looking at. So I expect you to have some knowledge of working with whatever program you pick. I'm going to be pretending you're all just using Reactor, but it could be different. Uh, also, I expect you to know, you know, basic signal, like what a synthesizer is, what oscillators are. That'd be pretty scary if you don't know this stuff. How to, I don't know, what an LFO is what their hertz scale is, what the pitch scale is. And this stuff is covered in my Sound and Synth Basics. So before you go into this series, uh, I would... Watch Sound and Synth Basics and watch Digital Audio Basics. Those are like the two big ones that you really need to know to get into this. Maybe even have some fun with some sound design courses. I have a couple. That way you know sort of what it is we're doing and you can see some of the applications of what it is we're doing while we're doing it. But I'll be explaining things like, you know, how faders work. You know, like what is really going on when you push, push these buttons. I might show you some weird things that go on inside a DAW that you may have not noticed before. We'll talk about, you know, like the real power of a delay because hit is super powerful. Um, cause a lot of these things, uh, just, yeah, there's, it goes so deep and so far and some of them are so useful. Like for example, most people treat the unison pitch knob as just a static knob. Like you just set it and then you're kind of good. But when you see how a chorus works, you begin to look at the unison and see why, first of all, why it's not called a chorus and why it's not called a, a flanger or anything else. You begin to see why and also consider the sound design possibilities here, and you gain an appreciation for the additional menus in here, which uh, is something that, so those are just some of the benefits. So this is a course effect. 
Uh, as far as the curriculum goes, I have not quite worked out exactly the order I want to do things in. So I'm just kind of going. I'm just going to go over principles because honestly, every principle seems kind of isolated. And then I'll just mention things as is needed, and we'll build up towards cooler, more complicated ensembles. This isn't something I intend to just sort of pound out and do in one go and have like some determined amount of videos. Something that's going to grow and evolve. I might leave it for a while and then come back to it because I'm going through those math classes right now and the more that gets added to it, the more capable I am of explaining certain principles. So that's that. Um, if you have any questions about this, let me know. Maybe there's some something you're really dying to know uh, right off the bat. You know, I've got to start at the basics. I can't just jump straight to like advanced DSP. Um, and some of it I can't explain yet, at least in a way that would be helpful. So I'm just going to explain what I like can do. And it'll be pretty simple. I have working examples of everything. So it's not going to be like a, a mystery on like why things are working the way they are. You'll be able to open and mess with them yourselves. I include descriptions, all that stuff. So yeah, that's just, it's just a lot to say. I think this, I've recorded this video a couple of times trying to fit it all in there in a concise manner. But if you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully this is going to be amazing. That's the goal. Subscribe, support me on Patreon. Uh, it allows me to really focus on this sort of stuff and have a blessed day.